Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make these really cute little gathered curtains here. Now you can use this pattern to make a valance like you see here or you can use this same pattern to cover your entire window and even going all the way down to the floor. And you can use almost any type of fabrics you want. This is also a good style to create sheer curtains to go behind your draperies. So let's get started and I'll show you now how to measure your windows. All right, here is your window right here. Now first you need to determine how much of your window you want covered. Are you going to make just a valance? Maybe it'll cover about a third of the window. Or do you want it to just cover the window? Or do you want it to go all the way to the floor? So to measure the width, you should start your measure measurements three inches out on each side of the window because that's how far out your curtain rod should go. So measure across there and then multiply that times one and a half and then add one inch. So example, let's say the measurement from here to here is 50 inches. One and a half times 50 is 75 inches and then add one more inch. Now the length, measure from three inches above the window to three inches below the window if you want it just to cover the window and you don't want it to go all the way to the floor. So whatever that measurement is, then add seven inches. Or measure it from three inches above all the way to the floor and then add your seven inches. I recommend once you measure your windows, go to the fabric store, select your fabrics, and let someone in the store help you to calculate how much of the fabric you need to buy. Because if you're buying, different types of fabric have different widths. And so they will help you to determine how much fabric you need to get. So let's get started stitching. After you've cut your fabric out, you want to go to each end of your curtain fabric. And you're going to do this step at your ironing board. Fold this edge in one quarter inch and press it all the way down. Then fold it again one quarter inch and press it all the way down. And you're going to do this at both opposite ends of each other. Then at your sewing machine, stitch real close to this edge all the way down from top to bottom of the curtain. And remember, you're doing this on both ends. You're going to repeat the previous step on your last two edges. So fold them over a quarter inch twice, press as you go, and then stitch real close to the edge here. And when you're done, this is what your corners will look like. Now you're going to fold over the edge two and three quarters of an inch and place pins to hold it. You're going to fold it all the way down to the other side. Now, one thing that I recommend you use, it's a nice little tool, it's called a seam gauge, and you can place like this little blue mark, or dial, whatever you want to call it, right at that two and three quarter inch spot on the ruler, and then you just lay it on there, fold over your edge, and when this edge here hits it, you know you've hit your two and three quarter inch mark. So place pins all the way down. Then at your sewing machine, you're going to stitch right along this edge, real close, all the way down to the other side. Then you're going to stay at your sewing machine and you're going to stitch from this folded edge. You're going to come in one and a half inches and I'll show you how to place tape at your machine so that you keep a nice even stitch along there. One of the things that I recommend you do so that you get a nice even width of stitching across this way is at your sewing machine measure from where the needle is out 
one and a half inches and put a piece of tape there so you can use the tape as a guide. So while you're sewing, you're looking at this edge, making sure that it's keeping even with the tape and you're not looking at the needle. So it's just real easy to do. Keep it right there at that edge. Now you're gonna fold the lower edge of the curtain over three inches and use your seam gauge to help you mark that. Place pins all the way along this edge and then stitch real close to, the, to this edge right here. And your last step will be to give your curtain a really good pressing and then slip your rod right inside the casing opening and then you are done. For more beginners sewing projects, play this video until a green screen appears and then click on the links. If you like this video, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell and enter your email address so you receive those email notifications about my latest video. If you're not receiving the emails, then go to your cell phone or iPad, click on settings, and turn notifications on. This is Maria, this is Jamie, this is Bob, this is Connie, and you all know Manny. Bye-bye!